So, you know those people on the internet who tell you the mainstream media lie to you and don't tell you the truth and never trust them? Well, guess what? They lie to you and give you misinformation. Let me show you how. Enjoy. And now, a message from our sponsor. Say what? Say what? Say what? Say... Say... What? What? Say what? Got it! Hello, you beautiful people. Welcome to another show. And it's... Uh, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe. I always forget to say these things. But as you know, it's my birthday week this week. Happy birthday to me. And my birthday wish, if you don't know already, is to reach a magic goal. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And then, by my birthday, on Saturday this week, I will reach the magic number, hopefully, of a thousand subscribers. Never mind the life that I think I get that far. Well, anyway, here we have a tweet from Alex Belfield. In his tweet, the most sickening thing about Sadiq's Be Kind London is that not one person dare step in or help or even say a word. Our world has lost its mind. 2022 is terrifying. It wasn't just Alex. Maya Tusi also posted the same video Say he's vile. It is vile. Very vile. The problem is, these um, two stories, these news stories that they posted uh, yesterday and the day before, the Metro reports, woman beating up on train for throwing sandwiches at all the passengers. Thursday the 30th of August, 2018. That was a long time ago, wasn't it? So, there's a clip of the same video, same people fighting. The video is from 2018. But these two people... And there's others who've done it as well, um, who are the media, and uh, they're better than the mainstream media because they lie to you and don't tell you the truth. These guys, the media, are doing the exact same thing. Not checking the sources, not checking what's going on. The question is, where do they get their news from? The same place as everybody else who isn't in the mainstream media. From the mainstream media. It's like kids playing shop. They're just pretending to be journalists. The internet is their wealth. And as one famous philosopher once said, it's a sign of the times. And this is what we get. Error 404. No context found. What they post is just absolute BS. Now, Alex posted this today. 35 minutes of the 70 biggest news stories exclusive at Belfield.com. The problem is, if it's exclusive, no other news agency in the world is reporting these 70 stories. But where did they get these stories from? You guessed it. The mainstream media. Or in fact, sites that aren't accredited media outlets. They're the worst ones. Top headline there. 9 in 10 COVID deaths were fully jabbed. Let me try and explain something to, the, to people. And I'm pretty sure Alex isn't stupid. But if there's 30 million people vaccinated and 10% of those people die, that's 3 million people. That's a lot of people. Now let's say 1 million people are unjabbed, and 18% of those people die because they're not vaccinated. That's 180,000 people. You see the problem here? If more people are vaccinated than not vaccinated, even though a less proportion of people die, because there's more of them jabbed, the number, by definition, by science, by fact, by logic, by anything you want, is going to be higher than a number of 1 million people at 18% who die because there's only 1 million of them. It's basic classroom science. But they just give you headlines and absolutely no context. We got it wrong with school kids. Now, in hindsight, it's a wonderful thing, but did we get it wrong? What would have happened if the kids went to school all the time? How many times would teachers be off sick? And then, who would teach the kids? So it's six and two threes, really, isn't it? Boosters are a waste of money. So if boosters are a waste of money, how come less people die now than they did before the vaccine? Power rationing. Everything's Russia's fault. Power rationing. More scaremongering. He has a go at the media for scaremongering. Yeah, here he is, scaremongering. So yeah, 70 exclusive stories, all sourced from other people's work and um, totally not exclusive. Laughable. But yeah, took another quick video today, this morning, this afternoon. Where are this afternoon now? Yeah, it's afternoon now. So, 
don't forget it's my birthday week if you haven't subscribed please do so help me reach that thousand by my birthday i'll be a very happy man i hope you have a great rest of the day enjoy the week sun is shining take it easy peace check the mic and make sure it sound right boys